I'm wearing it wrong. <laughs> Hi, I'm Farrah. Hi, my name is Jana. Hey, I'm Destiny. Hi, I'm Lara. And we tried on swimsuits from the internet's cheapest source. I kept seeing certain brands I've never heard of pop up on my Instagram feed as sponsored ads. I got curious and I clicked on the link and I noticed that these certain websites were selling cute, fashionable, in-style swimsuits for like $10. So it made me think, how in the world are these bathing suits that inexpensive? Maybe we should test this out. Nervous, but hopeful, I think, for this experiment. The ones I tried on from Mod Lily, I will say honestly, were probably my favorite, which I was not expecting at all, because when I was shopping on the site, it was really frustrating that a lot of the plus size versions were one pieces or things that were a little more modest, and I was like, no, I wanna be exposed. And so when I tried it on, I was pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Shorts, can we? Can we talk about the shorts? Feel loved in all places. The all black one was also one of my favorite looks. It had like this really awesome crisscross front. The only issue I had with that swimsuit was that I am a thick girl on the bottom, but when you come up to the top, I'm not as plus size as they would have liked me to be. <laughs> I enjoy my boobs. I like showing them off. The first one I tried on was a one piece. It looked promising, but once I put it on, it just wasn't flattering. So I thought on my body, it was very high cut. I just felt like I was kind of wearing like a turtleneck, even though I clearly wasn't. It was obviously a swimsuit. I just didn't like it. The second swimsuit I tried on from Mod Lily was this bikini situation. It was kind of confusing. It really wasn't that confusing. I just probably made it more confusing, but it was like a wrap top. And at first I couldn't figure out how to get it tied. It's really like a lot of moving pieces. I just prefer like higher waisted bottoms and these set like very low on my waist. On anyone else, I feel like I would be like, that's really cute, but it's just not my style. The first one, the mesh one, I really liked. The only thing was that it had a little bit of like extra room in the boob area, but other than that, I really liked it. I thought it fit well. The other one felt like a trash bag, honestly. It was like a little too loose, even though it was a small. The second swimsuit had this clasp and it would just like keep falling off. I wouldn't even be moving and it would just fall off. The striped bathing suit was the very first swimsuit I tried on, and I was surprised it fit properly. And so did the one piece, it fit as well. The one that I liked the most from that site was the orange snake skin one. I love the cutout of it. It's very trendy for right now. But the thing is the size was just way too small for me and I felt like a snake was squeezing me <laughs> into the suit. My only real gripe size aside is that you can see where you're supposed to like slide the cup in. But otherwise like y'all, Kim K got nothing on this. <laughs> the pink and green one, I'm so mad about. As I put the swimsuit on, I was like, I don't even want to go out in this. Like, I don't want anybody to see this on my body. The bikini part of it was so small that I had to like walk in with like holding my crack so nobody would see it. I felt like I was spilling from every possible place to spill from. That swimsuit is truly stressed me out. <laughs> the red snakeskin. I love this swimsuit. It's just like, I would be very worried about wearing it to a public beach, but I took it to my birthday weekend and had a private pool. I had 27 nip slips, but I didn't care because it was a cute swimsuit. So like, not something that I would wear in public, but perfect for a getaway with my friends. The top is like a medium or a large. This is not a medium or a large top, okay? So they're gonna need to work on their sizing. If I could get it to cover more of my breasts, then I would feel more comfortable wearing it in public. So I think the bottom, like, it's showy, but it doesn't make me as uncomfortable as the top. The next swimsuit was like this lime, I don't even know if it's lime green. It's like lime green, but also yellow, but also like a highlighter to a public beach. I would maybe feel like I shouldn't be wearing this. Like, my nipples may or may not come out at any time. I think if I just had like a bigger size, it would be a great swimsuit. I wasn't like mad about the swimsuit, I just think it didn't fit me, which is, 
weird considering that I ordered a medium and I generally wear a small. Their sizing is trash, but it was a cute swimsuit. The cactus one I really like because I like cacti. It's a reversible swimsuit, so you can like customize it to however you like. I did get really confused about how to tie the swimsuit. to Palm Springs and uh, I figured out a way to like make it look a little bit cuter. I tied the two strings together so that it was like more of like a halter and then I tied the other two strings behind my back. And I think it worked and I felt very supported. So the marble swimsuit, the bottoms were good but the top was just too loose. Like I did not feel supported so I wouldn't wear it again. I would wear the bottoms again if I had another top to go with it but I wouldn't wear the top again. I liked Zoffel's options in theory. They were really cute swimsuits. They had a ton of different designs and colors and styles, but for how they fit, the lemon one was just a little bit too snug for me. I was able to put it on, but it just felt sort of too tight. And this seam looks like it's my nipple. But I it's know. Not. And the blue one just felt a little bit too loose and it was kind of saggy in like the butt area, so I would be afraid to go swimming in it, so I haven't. If I was just lounging out by a pool or a beach, I think this is sort of like a basic swimsuit um, that wouldn't give you any weird tan lines or anything. So I'm not super mad at it. I just wish the bottoms fit a little bit better. I've always like had this dream of being a pinup girl one day. And so I got to live that through this bathing suit. I had the opposite problem for this one where like the cups from the boobs were too small and then they sat like at my belly button. I like the fact that they realized I might have small boobs and a big butt. But look, we got, we got a two in one action going. It's a two for one, lady. Then there was the one I put on wrong. <laughs> I didn't know this. I just went in there and I was like, yeah, it's a halter top because it looks like a halter top. And then I'm getting out there and I was like, y'all, the size of this it doesn't fit right. Like, am I supposed to have a spare boob? Maybe this is where you put a phone. Apparently I was just supposed to cross it. I mean, with these things, right, you order it, it takes time to ship and then it gets to you. So I didn't have a reference of what I was supposed to look like, which probably would have been helpful. We got bat wings over here. So, we have enough goodies. Now that I know, I can try it on again and give it an accurate review. I first tried on a bikini that was like blue. I don't really know how else to describe it. It's just a blue bikini. Kind of skimpy, but less skimpy from the red snakeskin and the other neon one. Again, the sizing wasn't super great. I think I ordered a medium. It was very small, barely covered my butt. Even though like I feel very exposed, I, it also feels like it fits better. I don't feel like my nipples just gonna like pop out unexpectedly, even though a lot is showing. Overall, it feels like it fits better, although the bottom is definitely more exposed than I thought it would be. It's like a full thong, and I don't think it's supposed to be. <laughs> the second swimsuit I tried on from Rose Gal was a no-go. When I saw the picture online, it didn't really seem like there was like a hole in the top. It's not a hole, it's like you're supposed to tie it, it's supposed to be cute, whatever. But when I put it on, like it was kind of gaping. It wasn't cute. First of all, it would be weird for tan lines. And second of all, the bottoms were basically see-through when I put them on and I wasn't in water. So I can only imagine what would happen as soon as they got wet. Rose Gal, I wore a floral two-piece and a black one-piece with like mesh cutouts on the side. And I really liked those two. The boob area is interesting because it like is so stiff, but I kind of like it because it, I know that they're supported, so that's good. The black one-piece I actually wore on my Palm Springs trip, and I really like that because I feel like it still sucks me in and I still feel good with it. And it's just a really nice swimsuit. I really like that one. I really liked the leaf print one piece. I thought it was really cute and I've actually gone swimming in it since I've tried it on and it fits well and it's sturdy. The material for the Rose Gal feels fine. It doesn't feel like cheap or anything. So yeah, overall I would say it's pretty decent for what you're paying for. <laughs>
The other swimsuit I tried on was the two-piece maroon one. And at first, I was really struggling with how to put on the maroon top. And I accidentally put it on incorrectly the first time. And I was like very confused because it felt like my boobs were about to fall out. And then I looked at the picture to reference what it was supposed to look like. I think I'm gonna have to redo it. <laughs> I had tied this string around my neck. And I had tied this around here. That's so I like flipped it. Completely different. Oh, yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah. So once I put it on the correct way, I thought it was really cute. I liked the top a lot. I liked how it fit like this area, but the bottoms weren't the greatest in my opinion. I guess this seam or whatever you call it is like flipped. So on this side it's correct, but this side it just like kind of sticks out. Otherwise, I like it now that I'm wearing it correctly. <laughs> Here is my thing with online shopping. I do not like it for the simple fact that one brand can say this is a 1X and another brand can say that's actually a 3X. And that was the issue I ran into on here. The sizing was very weird. I'm a D cup, but I, w I wear like a four in pants. So sometimes I feel like I needed a smaller bottom, a larger top, that's not an option. So you either had to get like both mediums, both larges, both smalls. Some of them I didn't feel too hot about, but some of them I felt really good in. It was kind of confusing on how to put some of them on if you were like me and order them and then like a week or two had gone by and you hadn't seen the reference picture in a while. I will say with all of the swimsuits that I tried, none of the material to me felt cheap. You can get cute, trendy swimsuits for cheap if you want, if you're going to like just a weekend or you're like just going on vacation or something. I'd say it's a gamble to try and find those, those gems of swimsuits at these cheap internet stores. I knew the pink and green set. I was like, we're, we're playing with fire here, Destiny. The actual fabric it was made of was great. It was incredible. It just did not fit me. If they had more sizes, then sure. But that's something you're going to take into account when you're buying your suits, hopefully. In the end, I think these websites and these swimsuits are a good choice if you're on a budget or you're not looking to spend a lot of money. At the same time, you do get what you pay for, so just be aware of that. Thank you so much for watching us review these swimsuits. If you wanna read more or look at more pictures, you can check out the link in the description below.